Hi, this is Jill Ostrowski. I'm currently a master's student in environmental engineering. My work focuses on developing models that can account for uncertainty in our understanding of water flow and contaminant transport in groundwater, and investigating how this uncertainty affects our ability to figure out where and when contaminants were released. Before awareness was raised regarding the detrimental effects chemicals can have on humans and the environment, chemical wastes were often dumped directly on the ground. When a contaminant reaches the water table beneath the ground, it may be transported miles from the actual place of release, depending on the characteristics of the ground and the chemical. When this occurs, a seemingly harmless spill becomes a much larger problem. To aid in identifying the source of the contamination, scientists have developed many methods to model and estimate when and where the contaminant was released. Since no one can see beneath the ground, scientists rely on various techniques to collect clues about the composition of the ground or subsurface and the way water and chemicals are transported. Many different aspects of the subsurface are used in models that estimate the release of contaminant. Often, holes are drilled in an area of concern to collect soil and water samples to aid in determining these parameters. Just a few samples are generally used to characterize a large region and some parameters cannot be measured directly. These issues make it difficult to confidently define a single parameter value for use in a model. I have been working to incorporate these subsurface transport parameters into a geostatistical inverse model by describing a range of values that could be possible. In this way, the true state of knowledge regarding the subsurface at a site of contamination is accounted for. The model I have been working with generates a range of possible contaminant release concentrations at a given time in the past using Monte Carlo sampling of parameter distributions and the Gibbs sampling algorithm with a truncated distribution to enforce non-negative concentration outputs. At first glance, this plot doesn't inspire a lot of confidence from the viewer. You might be thinking, gee, that's a big range. With such a complex model, can't you be more precise? But the answer is no not with the information that is available. A decision maker could still use this plot to infer the general time in the past a contaminant was released and what the maximum concentration of release may have been in order to predict where the contaminant is now in the groundwater system and where remediation efforts should be focused. In summary, my work focuses on improving groundwater contaminant modeling techniques to take into account the uncertainty in the subsurface transport of contaminants and to present the outcome of the model in a format that can be used to inform decision makers of all the possible scenarios of contaminant release. Thanks for watching this video, and please don't dump any nasty contaminants on the ground!